Hey guys, welcome back to Friends of Oodkind Media Productions. I'm Dr. Ood, and in this video I'm going to be doing a tier list of every single classic Doctor Who serial that I have seen. And this is YouTube, so obviously everybody out there is going to agree with me. Leave your comments in the comment section below, guys. What's your tier list? And if you do enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to our channel. But let's get into it. Alright, the first outing of the Doctor and the Unearthly Child. I'll put that in C, I think. The first Dalek serial. <laughs> That's a good serial. Um, B. B for me. The Edge of Destruction, that's a good filler episode, but it's a C for me. The Keys of Mariners, this is a good story, but it's just sort of all over the place, so it's a D. The Aztecs, I thoroughly enjoy this every time I watch this, so this is going in B. Give me a second, then I will sort out. Uh, the Sense of Rights, I actually quite like this, but it's kind of weak, so it's a D. Haha, <laughs> The Reign of Terror. The French Revolution, a history one, that has to go in C for me. Let's head over to the ISOP galaxy for the web planet and let's give that a D. Here's one that we reviewed recently, The Ark. I thoroughly enjoyed it, it's actually really good. Um, B. <laughs> the Mondasian Cybermen of the 10th planet, sorry that's going in S, straight to S. The Creepy Daleks of Patrick Troughton's debut, The Power of the Daleks, that's gone to A. Okay, here's one that really, really, really creeped me out, but it's absolutely brilliant, so it's going to S, The Macra Terra. The Faceless Ones, where Jamie does the Highland Fling out the door, that's going to be just for that scene. Patrick Troughton's double role as Salamander and the Doctor is going to A, because he's brilliant in it. Yeah, the second Doctor is actually awesome, and the Web of Fear, you know, the Great Intelligence, that is going to A. Moving on to the third Doctor, John Pertwee, and the Silurians, I'm going to put that in B. This next one, if you ever watch this channel, you know where this is going. This is going to S, the Sea Devils. Okay, the first multi-Doctor story, the 10th anniversary, the three Doctors, that's going to S. Mr. Hartnell's last ever appearance. What would happen if the Daleks had no power? Death to the Daleks is going into B. Moving on to the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker, Destiny of the Daleks with Davros. That's going to A. I'm sorry, but it has to be not sorry. The Sontaran Experiment. Um, it's not really as good as what you think it would be, but D. Okay, here's one that we watched from the Sarah Jane Adventures box set, Pyramids on Mars, and we love it, so that's going to A. The next one needs no introduction at all. Genesis, that's going to S. Possibly the best Doctor Who story ever. And here's one I just watched from the animation collection, Shada, that's going to A, because it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, the E Space Trilogy, um... The Leisure Hive, that was okay, wasn't brilliant, I didn't, it didn't really hold my attention that great, but I, I give it a C. And Megalos again, it was weird seeing Tom like that, like he is there, um, I'll give that a C as well. But this one, Full Circle, I actually really enjoyed that, that was an awesome story for me, um, I'll give that a B. State of Decay was alright, uh, not the best, didn't really hold, but I'll give it a C. This next one just seemed to drag a little bit, Warrior's Gate, so I'm going to put that in D, I think. But then you get to this one, The Keeper of Traken. I have never been so excited to see the Master. A. Okay, Tom Baker fans are going to hate me for not putting this in S, but Logopolis is going to A. It just didn't seem right, it just seemed brushed. Time for Peter Davison, The Five Doctors, that's going to S straight away, because it's The Five Doctors. Legendary, Earthshock, straight to S, don't even ask. But please not this very next one, The Warriors of the Deep. That's an E, just a big letdown. 
This is the only sixth Doctor story I've got. Time Lash. Uh, I'll put it in D. Alex from the Doctor Who guy told me to watch this as my first seventh Doctor Battlefield, and I'm put it straight to A. Thank you, Alex. But Ghostlight was sort of middle of the road. Um, didn't really hold that well, so C. Here is one that creeped the pants off me, and that is going to S. Thank you, Sylvester. For the Curse of Fenric. And then we get to the one that we don't want to watch, but we have to watch Survival. I don't know, B. Then the hiatus and everything else, and then the movie. I will put the movie, I think I'll probably put the movie in C. Um, yeah, not a lot really happened in the movie. So there is the tier list of every classic Doctor Who that I've seen so far. If you did enjoy this guys, please do leave a like and subscribe and remember always try to be nice and never fail to be kind.